Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today uh, JetBrains just released Rider 2018.2. This is a C-Sharp IDE, it used to be called Project Rider, it's an all-in-one development environment for creating C-Sharp application, and yes, it has full Unity integration and support, so if you're a Unity developer, this may be an ideal coding environment for you. Now, if you've never heard of JetBrains before, you've probably used one of their products, maybe without knowing about it. They're probably most known for the IntelliJ IDE uh, for Java developers, but on top of that, that they make a great HTML5 or JavaScript development tool called WebStorm. And probably the area where a lot of you would know them from without necessarily knowing it is Android Studio. Uh, Google basically licensed IntelliJ to create Android Studio. So Android Studio is basically a JetBrains product. And this release of Rider, um, let's look at some of the features involved in it. It is a great IDE, but there's a lot of competition out there now, and especially when you've got such great tools such as Visual Studio Code and even Visual Studio itself available for free. What does Rider offer that those don't have? Well, first off, let's look today at what the new release contains. And probably the biggest thing in this release is we now have full C Sharp 7.3 support. You can also debug into the Docker container. Now, a lot of this stuff is very much aimed at um, enterprise developers. So now you can deploy to IIS and stuff like that. So uh, maybe not of interest to you in game development world, uh, but definitely useful to people in the IIS uh, website development world anyways. Uh, but also, if you are a Mac user, there is Mac Touch Bar support. So you can see some of the things that are in here. There's uh, F sharp support improvements. There's uh, a spell checker integrated directly in there now. Uh, dot cover for unit testing is now integrated. Uh, better debugging support. Uh, Unity support for ASM def and CSC RSP files. Not really sure what either of those are to be honest, but if you're a Unity developer, you probably no doubt know. An option to disable features Unity player in the attached to Unity process list, etc. So as you can see, um, it is a broadly featured C-Sharp IDE, and it keeps getting these incremental improvements. Now on top of these improvements you see here, obviously there are a ton of bug fixes and improvements behind the scenes. Now ultimately though, this guy is built on the same technology as IntelliJ, as are pretty much all of their um, development tools. So the nice thing there is, no matter which platform you work on, and there's another really cool thing about JetBrains tools, is they're available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. So you kind of get into, you learn one, you kind of learn them all. So if you want to have a PHP development environment, they have one. If you want to have a Go development environment, they have one. I, um, C++, they've got C Lion, they've got this for C Sharp. So you can get a dedicated IDE for whatever language you are used to, but have a very consistent approach and experience to it. Now, there is a 30-day download. So if that sounds good to you, uh, there is, um, like I said, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux versions available. It's around a 300 megabyte download I think and we'll take a look at this guy in just one second now I mentioned earlier about how they have a product for every language oops that's actually languages uh, oh I did things wrong okay so here you go here you can see all of the various tools they have available now one of the ones that's really key is ReSharper. Now ReSharper was around well before uh, Project Rider or Rider became a thing. And basically it is one of the best refactoring tools for Visual Studio. So for you know changing, modifying, and updating your code, that's where Refactor or ReSharper would kick in. And basically uh, Rider is kind of a marriage between the IntelliJ IDE and the ReSharper um, code uh, engine and of course they did their entire own back end on this product as well so it is also its own new product but a lot of it is it integrates the resharper functionality that you would normally buy as an external project now speaking of buying that is kind of one of the areas where uh, things get a little rough for a lot of people here because JetBrains tools are by no means the cheapest thing you're ever going to find in fact you're looking at $350 a year um, they had perpetual licenses, uh, and one of the cool things is when your license runs out, you do continue to uh, be able to use that version. You just don't get updates anymore. So it is kind of the same as buying it the way that buying used to be. Um, we can see you can buy all of their products for $650 a year, uh, or uh, ReSharper Ultimate plus Rider, or just Rider for these various different prices. And of course, these are... Um, more expensive, obviously, than free, like you would pay for Visual Studio Code. So is it worth it? And I really, honestly, I can't tell you that. For one, value changes so much from person to person. The next thing is, 
does this workflow suit you? If you're, you know, being paid a wage to develop code and you can save time on developing code, justifying a price tag is very easy if the tool works for you. My number one recommendation, of course, would be to go ahead and download it for sure and take that 30 days to find out if it suits you. Now, there's another really interesting thing here, and I highly recommend if you work on an open source project, uh, they have a license program available. So if you are contributing to an open source product, you basically fill out a form, you send it into them, and you can get a basically license are provided for one year, allowed free upgrade to all releases, and you can get pretty much their entire suite available. Uh, so if you are um, working on an open source product or working open source in a startup, uh, you can get access to all of their stuff for free. Now, obviously, if you are in the world of commercial products, um, not so much, but this is linked from the link I will toss down below. So that is in a nutshell the news. Uh, but in here, I'm just going to very quickly show it to you. This here is Project Rider. Oh, sorry, I got to stop calling it Project Rider. This is the Rider IDE. Now, obviously, this is themed. You've got a choice of themes. Actually, when you first fire it up, you've got um, you know light or dark, and then you've got different code standards as well. And you can obviously change those after the fact. Um, You'll see here all the way through, there are a bunch of um, suggestions and overrides and, and customizations. So see here, this is underlined because it's telling you this could be made private. So there are a lot of code analyzers built directly into Rider. Uh, there's obviously project management. This is opened as an SLN file. So this is a Visual Studio solution file that I've opened up. Um, the other really cool thing with uh, Project R or sorry Rider and all of the um, JetBrains IDEs is they're very extensible. So you go to the settings here in plugins, you'll see there are a ton of plugin integrations. So you see here F# -sharp support, for example, was added as a plugin, or you can go ahead and grab new ones. And there are a ton of plugins available out there. So that's one of the really nice things with all of their IDEs. They're very extensible. Uh, so if you get used to one, you can come through and kind of get the functionality you want regardless of the language you want to work with. Uh, I can't really do justice to what this IDE is capable of. That would take um, many, many, many hours of you know, going through in video. And on top of that, I don't use this particular IDE that often. I use WebStorm all the time and I use IntelliJ when I work in Java, uh, but I don't actually use Rider personally. So I can't give you a lot of hands-on uh, suggestions of exactly why you would want to use this IDE, but I know from using their other products that if I was going to be doing a commercial c -sharp project, I would definitely be evaluating. And if I was an open source world, I would definitely take advantage of that free open source version license. Now, there are a couple of nice things that I even find from my world for um, when I'm doing presentations, they do have things like presentation mode, which is very cool. Basically, it switches this into um, automatically changes the look of it, makes it very easy to display. But at the same time, I can obviously come in here and do things like this. We've got good scaling. Obviously, performance is fine. Uh, you've got direct source code integration. So you've got GitHub version control integration built right in here. You've got various different plugins. You've got unit testing support. And then you've got little things in here, even like power saving mode. So if you're working on your laptop, um, you can basically turn on power save mode and it's going to run in a way that uses less CPU power. It's stuff like that that really makes it appreciate it. But really the bread and butter of where these tools really shine is their refactoring tools. Um, and they're really quite solid. On top of that, again, there are all these various code widgets and solvers and solutions that you can uh, have come up that are obviously quite useful as well. So you see here... Uh, there's a class override and you click that, it'll automatically go to a decompiled version of the code that it inherited from. You've got integrated help looking, you've got um, the ability to, I think it's got a thumbnail mode down the side. I got to turn that on as well. It's basically got everything you would expect from an IDE and it does it in a way that is pretty seamless. And again, once you've learned one of these tools, you've generally learned all of them. So if you already know IntelliJ, you should be able to pick up Rider, almost no effort at all. If you know CLion, you should be able to pick up Rider, or if you got no Rider, you should be able to pick up CLion and vice versa. And that's definitely a cool thing considering that they make tools for just about every language. You've also, again, you've got NuGet support, NuGet, ugh, that's hard to say. Yeah, NuGet support built in unit testing. You can open up terminal window directly within the editor. Uh, all these windows are configurable, resizable, closable, etc. And I think I will leave it right about there. There again, it's just so much to this tool that I, I can't even begin to do it justice. So mostly what I'm doing here is 
making you A, aware that this tool is out there uh, if you didn't already know, B, making you aware that there was a new version released today in case you didn't already know, and C, making you aware that you can download a 30-day trial and find out for yourself if what you saw here works for you. And again, if you have an open source um, project that you're working on, you can apply for an open source version of this and pay absolutely nothing. And of course, all those links are at the bottom of the link I will provide down below. So that's it for now. What do you think? Have you used Rider? Uh, what is your C Sharp IDE of choice? Personally, I've been using Visual Studio Code more and more and more for just about everything, but that's just because it's there and it's what I'm familiar with right now. Uh, but again, when I switch back to JavaScript development, I do immediately go back to WebStorm and I love it. I actually pay the $50 a year or whatever it's costing me and I will continue to pay that. It's a great IDE. Ditto when I go to Java, I use... Um, IntelliJ. So uh, I am definitely a JetBrains fan and I do recommend if you are looking for a C Sharp IDE and what you've got now doesn't necessarily work for you, check this one out. It might be the right tool for you. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.